All right, we're gonna play a horror game. We're playing a game called The Radio Station. It is now spooky time. Haha, <laughs> subscribe and turn that bell notification on on my YouTube. Ah! Or follow me on Twitter because I post there too. Okay. The Radio Station. Oh. One day I found that message right after I woke up in the morning. That can't be. No way. そんな。だってこの前会ったばかりだ。ラジオの仕事が軌道に乗ってきたって嬉しそうに話していたあいつが死んだ。ダメ。俺は信じられなかった。いつものようにラジオを流した後、ラジオ局で亡くなっていたら
I am I'm, I'm used to this now I can it's pretty easy as long as nothing pops out in the road I definitely won't kill anyone okay the owner's house the key to the radio station should be here guys This is a nice mountain house, I guess. Hello? Station key. Got it. Now I can enter the station. All right, back to the station we go. Oh man. Don't map and drive, guys. Very dangerous. Do not do not do what you are seeing on the screen. This is done by trained professionals. Oops, I hit something. Oh whoops. Alright, we're here. We are now at the radio station. I have the station key. Alright. Time to find out what really happened to my broski, my brother, my brother and my sibling, my blood related brother, a tape. I found a tape. Maybe if we find a player, cassette player thing, we can listen to the, listen to the tape. And maybe it's got something we need, some information. Oh, I found it. What the f I Hi,ホラーな話。はい、I don't know if that was just saying okay. ラジオネームトウコさんからの手紙です。これは霊感のある同級生の小学生の時の話です。その子は生まれつき霊感がありました。保育園の頃ははっきり見えるわけではなく、なんとなくもやのようなものが見えたり。一定の場所が金ありと感じたりする程度だったようですが、小学生になってからははっきり見えるようになったそうです。いつも同じ場所に男の人がただ立っているなと思っていたら、他の人には見えていないことを知ったことが始まりだそうです。そこから見えるという
知らないうちに暗くなってしまっていて急いで一人で帰っていたそうです薄暗いからか少しの物音でも反応してしまい怖くなってしまっていましたそんな時「こんばんは」と声をかけられたそうです振り返ると中年のおじさん一人家まで送ってあげようかそう話すおじさんに恐怖を覚え断って去ろうとすると腕をつかまれ送ってあげると言ってるじゃないかと恐怖のあまり声も出ずに,に,におじさんが悲鳴を上げて逃げていったそうですおじさんが見ていた方向を見るとそこにはいつもの幽霊が story about a... 幽霊はその子を見つけたのでしょうか One out of seven. My brother's voice. It said there are six more of these tapes. I have to find them all. My brother said one out of six. Maybe the tapes are key. The key to finding out what the f. I'm gonna check the other houses. The house near the owner's house. Oh god. I'm good at driving. Thank you, guys. I'm very, very good at driving. I know. Is there a sprint? Can I overdrive? It's a trash area. Oh, let's search this then. A key. This sucks. Who locks a trash place? Okay, f that whatever. All right, we're checking this area up here at the very top of the mountain. A warehouse. Hmm. Oh boy. Let's search around it first <laughs> before I go inside. Always search your perimeter. And then go inside. Because you don't know what's in there, you know what I'm saying? What kind of warehouse has like... One, two, three, four, five, six doors just lined up like this. To be fair, I've never been in a warehouse, so I don't know. Door one. Okay, wait, what the f What? This isn't... It didn't look that big from... I guess it is that big. What the hell? It closed again. It's locked. What is the... This is so creepy. I think I hear something. This room right here is locked. Maybe I can get in somewhere else? I guess I'll leave that. I don't really know. Huh. Interesting. That is very creepy. I thought I just got lost in like the... You know those that one meme where it's just like... You feel like a phase into like the the back rooms. I thought I phased into the back rooms and just got lost in another dimension. 
Okay, let's try over here. We'll be coming around the mountain when you come. Vending machine area. A telef telephone. A UV flashlight. Oh. What can I do with this? Whoa, what the? One, two, three, four. Wait, are these tapes? These are the other tapes. Oh, snap. I do have this. Oh, whoops. That's probably not it. Wait. I don't know how this vending machine works. Not gonna lie, guys. Use the food ticket. I have a food ticket. I guess it's better than just waiting around here. I guess I'll use it. Nice, I have mush vending machine food. <laughs> nice. Awesome. I don't know if I was supposed to do that, but I have it now. <laughs> Cool. How did you get 4276? What the, f the order of the tapes? Oh, I didn't even realize that. Damn, y'all are smart. It's three by four and this is also three by four, but it's only numbered on the top three rows because the bottom is just zero and then they cancel and enter. Very smart. Very smart. We got a tape. Nice. Okay. Let's go back to the station and play it. Oh my god! I killed a... What is that? A chicken! <laughs> a... A deer? What is that? Can I get out of my car? What the f*** is that? It's like a huge pig! Well, I did not mean to do that. I'm very, very sorry that happened. You know, the mountain animals sometimes, they just, they really just get in the way. That scared me so bad though. I didn't even see it. Did you see it? Did anyone see it? Did you guys see it? I didn't see it. If no one saw it, then it didn't happen. Okay. Back at the radio station. That light is very creepy. Next tape. Someone Did someone what? The hell just happened? 
Wait, the, le the person who sent this horror story is the same person from the last tape. いとこは家族が病気になり、とても気を落としていたそうです。いとこはその時のことを人生で一番どこだったと今でも言います。家族が病気になったけど、何もできず、苛立ちと不安で情緒不安定になり、倉庫になったと言います。何もする気になれず、
Sorry about your car. Thanks for the tape. That's tough. The person in the car is gone though. That's weird. Maybe it's the cousin's best friend. That's their car. A ghost car, if you if you may. Hello? 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 What the? F Hello? What was that? What? Why did my car break down? Oh God. That was it. Do not break down again, car. That was not very funny. I was scared. I don't like that. Have you guys ever had your car break down on you before? It's very scary. I had, I had my, I had one time, one of my, the car I was driving, it's pretty old and like it's, it had a lot of issues, but I was driving down this one like really, really steep hill with two of my friends and all of a sudden my, my car just, it just stopped. Like the engine just died. It just died. The, the battery was like pretty bad, I think, but it died and it was like terrifying because right at the end of that hill is like a intersection, right? It's like a four-way intersection with a stoplight and it's a pretty big one. So I was, I was, I was like, oh, I'm f So I had to, and like, so if, if your car ever dies, I don't know, my car is pretty old. And the way like cars work when they're on, I think, at least for mine, is that like, it's, it's easier to turn the wheel, right? Because like the engine is on, like the battery's on and all that stuff, right? So like it, it helps you move the wheel, which moves the car. But when my engine's dead, right? Guess what? There's no help. So like moving the wheel was one of the most difficult things I had to do in the most stressful situation. So what I had to do was like spam the brake, pull the handbrake as I was trying to push all of my power into turning the wheel into the side of the road so I wouldn't fucking like land in the intersection. It was the it was one of the scariest things that ever happened obviously i didn't die but like dude it was hard because like i was like <laughs> anyways okay new tape recorder masaki no horror na hanashi hai hajimari mashita horror na hanashi Back at it again. What kind of story will come this time? Maybe it's from the same person. Toko, yep, it's the same person. They're pretty wholesome. Toko,やっぱ、こんな方ですね。まあ、この東子さんが送ってくれる話はいいので、本若話なので、今回も楽しみですね。今回はどんな幽霊が出てきてくれるのでしょうか。これは友人が高校生だった時の話だと言います。家族が病院に入院することになり、毎日病院にお見舞いに行っていたそうです。その病院は総合病院だったのもあり、多くて医者や看護師の数も多く、いつも人が出入りしているような病院だったようです。ちょうどその時期は人事の時期だったのか、見
一つずつくれたのを覚えています。<笑>とてもにこやかで感じのいいおばさんでした。数日後、見舞いに来ていたら遅くなってしまい、面会時間もあと少しという時間になっていました。トイレに行き、家族に声をかけてから帰ろうと部屋へ向かっていたときです。家族がいる部屋のドアが開いたかと思うと、この前見た看護師が出てきました。なぜかとっさに隠れてしまい、様子を見ていると、一緒に出てきたのは家族の隣のベッドのおばさんでした。看護師と手をつないで歩いていきます。すぐに家族のいる部屋に入り、隣のおばさんのことを聞くと、1人でふらっと部屋を出て行ったというので、慌て追いかけました。おばさんと看護師が見え、後ろから、おばさん、おばさんと声をかけるものの、聞こえていないのか全く反応がありません。看護師ももちろん、後ろを振り返ることはなく、2人で歩いていきます。エレベーターの前で2人が止まったので走って追いかけ、ちょうどエレベーターに乗ったところでやっと追いつき、エレベーターの中でおばさんの腕をつかむことができました。おばさん大丈夫そう言うと、看護師はこちらをぎろりと睨み、消えていきました。エレベーターには何も覚えていないおばさんと2人だけで乗っており、B2 のボタンが押されていました。後から知ったのですが、地下2階は霊安室でした。あの看護師はおばさんを連れていくつもりだったのでしょう。はぁ ?Where did the lady intend to nurse take what? Where did the nurse intend to take the lady? Huh? That one wasn't so heartwarming. That one was creepy. Hmm. The morgue. Also, who knocked all this stuff over? I do have a question. Why is this computer on? I want to know what love is. Bum, 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 bum. Want you to show me. Let's revisit the warehouse. Vending machine area. I want to know. Have you ever seen? Can I call somebody? You never look up, do you? What? Oh. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. That was very helpful, whoever said that on the phone. Thank you. I will now look up more. Oh, maybe we should search up at the radio station. Alright. We are now at the station. We have the fourth tape. I will now look up. The voice on the phone said, You never look up, do you? Okay, well, I am now. What's up? I'm looking up. There's nothing. Masaki no horror no hanashi. Hi. 今回もホラーなお手紙読んでいきますよ。ラジオネームトーコさんからの手紙です。この方、お手紙になってきましたね。今回はどのような話なでしょう。最近知り合った。ストーリーブガールでメッの話。At their 兄弟が入院し気持ちが下がっている日々。その子は兄弟のためにと。毎日病院に通い一生懸命看病していた
あ、すいません。いつもと同じ人ですよね。あ、あやっぱりちゃんと東子さんですね。あ、すみません。いつもと書き方が違うので違う人かと。東子 switched up their writing. あ、すみません。はい。続けますね。うん、いつものように病院へ行くと、兄弟の担当医が部屋の前に立っていた。別室に案内され、Doc2? 医者の重々しい口が開いた。もう長くはない。持って1ヶ月程度だと。兄弟の病室に。Write it down! Write it down! Two! 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 あすいませんあ。変なところがカタカナになっていて。続きますね。病室に行くと、兄弟はいつものように笑っていた。それからは時間があるときは少しでも病院に行くようにした。そうするうちに1ヶ月が過ぎ去り、医者に宣告されてから3ヶ月が経とうとしていた。その日はいつもより少し寒かった。病院へ向かう途中、小さな男の子に声をかけられた。お母さんと。違うよ。そう言うと泣きそうになったため。男の子のお母さんを探すことにした。すぐにお母さんが、み、みつまた変なところがカタカナですね。みが、みがカタカナでした。すいません。続けます。お母さんが、みつかり、The boy's mom served them a cup of tea. サロードする私を見て That's、nice. 男の子のお母さんが、疲れているみたいだけど、大丈夫ですかと、声をかけてきた。家が近いから休んでいってくださいと。自分でも知らないうちに疲れが溜まっていたことに気づき、お言葉に甘えて家に少しだけお邪魔するようにした。お茶とケーキを出してもらい、久しぶりにほっと息をついて休んだ。そんな甘い時間は風のように過ぎ去っていったようだ。時間、大丈夫ですかと声をかけられ、パッと時計を見たときには、面会時間まであと1時間という時間になっていた。ほんの少しいたつもりがそんなに時間が経っていたのか。はあ、ここから病院までは30分かかる。すぐに家を出た。挨拶をきちんとしなかった。そう思い振り返るとそこに、家はなかった。しかし気にする暇はない。急いで病院に向かっていると携帯電話が音を立てたポケットで小さくなった音に私は気づかなかった病院に着くとドアの前に兄弟に似た小さな男の子が立っていた不思議に思って近づくと男の子が「メン、MIN」そんなふうに言ったような気がした慌てて病院に入ったがもう手遅れだった。私は兄弟の名を叫び、大声で泣いた。どうしてその瞬間、僕らが私の中にスーッと入ってきた感覚があった。それから兄弟は私のそばで私をずっと見ている。ずっと。What the hell? Except that was the past two stories. There's always a theme of like someone being watched by someone from their life. Like the previous one was the girl's best friend, and this one was、uh, his brother, right? Am I am on the same, are we on the same page? Two, two, what do we have so far? We have T O M I N. I don't know what that means though. Tomin. Tomin might be a person. Or Minto. I don't know any of those words or if they would mean anything. Tomen or Minto gang? Which gang are you a part of, guys? Tomen or Minto? Hmm. Maybe it's to someone named Min. Maybe. So, where have we checked? We know that there's a trash place next to the owner's house. We know the warehouse is at the very top, and we know 
I'm gonna check the warehouse at the very top again. Because there's something about that warehouse is just really, really off. I don't really know. I didn't really find anything there last time we checked, so maybe we should take a thorough look again, guys. We must find out what happened to my brother. How did he die at the radio station? How? Oh, we do have a UV lamp. So maybe we can see, like, what the... I don't know. The doors? Aha! Maybe we follow the order of these doors. It opened! <gasps> nah. Nah. What the hell? Nah. I'm not going inside. Oh, there's a tape there. <laughs> okay. Give me out, give me out, give me out, give me out. Damn, that was that was a little too spooky. Let's just get back to the station. This is a steep hill. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, oh, skirt! My driving is getting progressively better, guys. Don't you think? I haven't had any crashes yet. Besides the deer I killed, but that doesn't count. Okay. So we have the sixth tape. Oh, wait, no, the fifth tape. What? I feel like we've had more tapes. Wait, I didn't pick up a tape. I picked up a... A voice recorder? I can't play it, though. I just have it. Maybe it didn't record anything. It's not working. Chat, literally the only thing I can think of right now is I need something to use my ramen and I need something to use the voice recorder. I'm going to check the trash can, okay? The trash area. Anymore, I was. What the? I could open this? Here's some food, you stupid rats. Have fun with the ramen. God. How did I... How did I not know I could open that? I thought it was locked because of the padlock. I thought the padlock like locks the entire thing, but apparently not. Anyways, all right, we found a tape. Remember last night when I blacked out? My car is going to die very soon. I can feel it. I know it's going to happen. But for now, it is doing pretty good. Okay, I have tape. この
、まあ、読みますね。What the fuck? 両親なんて最初からいなかった。そう思っている。弟を私が守らないといけない。それだけだった。私には弟しかいなかった。But who's telling the story? Oh, oh, oh. Oh. Shimino. Shimino. 気づいたときには弟と二人だった。許せなかった。何もかも。私の、S. 私の怒りはすべてに向いていた。みんな、みんな不幸になればいい。そう思った。いつも決まった時間。時間。時間に手紙を書いた。丁寧に。見えるものすべてを取り込んで。そうした手紙は相手に響く。相手の読んだ時の顔を見るのが好きだった。私たちの世界、へこちそう。へこああ、ああ、世界へごちそうか。あやっぱりカタカナ入ってると読み間違えちゃいますね。まあ、すいません。続けますね。ごちそうを用意して、弟はいつも私の隣にいる。心配そうな顔をして、そんな弟の手を私は握る。弟が眠ってしまったとき、できなかったことを今。苦,苦しみも苦しみ、L? ああ苦しみですね。苦しみも悲しみもすべて忘れて私と共にみんな行こう。私の周りではよく人が亡くなる。私のせいなのだろうか。ほらあなたにも。What? Have you read my letter? Have you read my letter? うん、探してみようと思います。あったらまた次回読もうと思います。So Mino's Hell is a poem? Don't read the poem? It's a Japanese urban story. Don't read it out loud. Everything written in caps is to Mino's Hell. Have you read my letter? There's two more tapes. That lady's gone. All I have is a voice recorder. Hmm. Tomino's Hell is a poem that brings bad things if you read it. But we haven't read it yet, but we know the capitalization spells Tomino's Hell. Who is Tomino? There's literally a fing shed here, and I just like, I didn't see it because it's so dark. Um, who is that? Okay, what the fuck? What? Huh? Huh? Something about this monitor. There's blood here. No, this is not a good sign. This is not a good sign. Why is there blood on the ground? 
Screw it. I don't have a choice. Break it. A tape. But why the blood? <gasps> uh. Okay. Ghost. Ghost man. Whatever you say, ghost man. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's okay, guys. I wasn't scared. I was just startled. Six tape, six tape, the six tape, six tape. A title? What does it say? What does it say? What does it say? Wait. What happened? Huh? The tape ends abruptly. What happens after that? Wait, what happened? He was about to read the letter. Uh oh. It's the letter. Do I read it? He died? No. I think he died reading the letter. I don't think I read it. Surely I don't read it, right? I think I leave. I think I go home. Wait, what is it? What is it? Why is it flickering? This didn't happen before. Um... Are you okay? Bicycle key? Good. Hmm. Who is that? Do I read the letter or do I open it? I don't know what's worse. She's gone. What? Wait, what the? F I'm not climbing up. What the hell? Wait. <laughs> Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Trash tongs. I'm not gonna climb up. I think I'm gonna go back to the trash area. I think that's a good idea. I have trash tongs. Probably for the trash area. Maybe there's a hole? Oh, maybe there's a tape in the trash. Let's go back. It's getting intense now, guys. Who was that girl? And why did she jump? Probably a ghost because she disappeared. Why did the host stop reading the letter? Why did the tape end abruptly? I don't know. There's a hole. And there's a key in there. Padlock key. Why was it locked inside though? That doesn't make any sense. Tape deck. 
I can use this to reverse tapes. Oh. I can't use this. Oh, I can use this to reverse tapes. Okay. But there's no tape in here for me? What is the point of this? I get the sixth tape? But the sixth tape is when he reads the letter. Isn't that bad to listen to it? Maybe the seventh tape is on the tower. I can't take any tapes out. I guess we have to go up. I feel like I'm gonna be pushed off if I go up. I'm climbing. Oh, the tape. Reverse tape? I have all the tapes. Well, I can't play it in a normal tape player, so... We'll have to reverse it. It is the only way. Onward. Scary! All right, we're here. We're here, and we can reverse the tape. The final tape. What? Oh, I fixed it. I fixed it. <gasps> now I listen to it at the station. This is it. The seventh tape. We're going to find out what happened to my brother, chat. Wait a minute. Do I read the letter? Or do I play the tape? <laughs> oh man. Since we know the lore, if you read it, you die. But what if we listen to it? Oh no. Masaki must have died because he read this. I don't know what power that poem has, but I need to get it examined. I'll take that paper to the police tomorrow. It's too late, and I should go home for the time being today. I think we did it. We lived. Because we didn't read the poem. We lived! For now. Masaki Onikawa's brother Haruo brought a tape to me. 
He said, If you listen to this, you will understand the reason for Masaki's death. I decided to listen to the tape. However, no matter how much I played it, nothing came out. And nothing was recorded on the tape. Haruo panicked. He seemed to be mumbling to himself. It can't be. Suddenly, he handed me a piece of paper. Masaki died because he read this paper aloud. There was a recording on the tape to back it up. After accepting the paper, Haruo whisked away. He had a severe look in his eyes, but is he trying to make fun of us? The police? There's no way that a single poem written on a paper like this can kill a person. If such a thing were to really happen, it would be a terrible thing. As I was staring at the paper, a younger colleague came over to me. Senpai, what are you looking at? No, I heard if you read this poem out loud, you die. What? Is it a superstition or something? Do you really believe in that, Senpai? That junior laughs. Why don't you try reading it, senior? I was told that, but I couldn't bring myself to it. Of course, I didn't believe him, but... Are you scared, senior? Then I'll read it for you. Laughing, my colleague picked up a piece of paper. My colleague read the whole thing at once. Nothing happened during that time. I didn't expect anything to happen, but I was a little re relieved. Nothing happened, maybe it was just a prank. I was about to say it or not. He suddenly screamed and collapsed. He never came back, and when I noticed the paper was gone too. What was that poem about? Bruh. We got the good ending! Yay! We did it! But there's also a bad ending. I mean, the good ending is that we lived, so we take those. We take those, guys. That was cool. That was a fun game. Thanks for hanging out today.